Hey guys, today I wanted to show you this really, really cool website and I think you'll love it if you're into digital art and design and stuff. Basically what this um, better version is called is Mid Journey. And so in order to get into Mid Journey, you have to go to www.midjourney.com and then it's going to prompt you to Let's just get out of here so I can show you. So it looks like this when you get in or when you get to the website. Then if you don't have an account yet, then you're going to sign, join the beta or the beta, sorry. And it's going to prompt you and link you over to Discord where you have to link your Discord account with it. And then once you're in, it'll take you back to Discord. And this is where their chat room is. So the first thing while you're in here is what you can click on one of the newbies rooms here like that and then you can literally scroll through these are the stuff that people have already made like that and you can also make a variation of what they're making too so for example if i like that or let's say i like nah, i don't really like that okay let's say i like this I can click right here and make variation and then if you scroll down all the way down anything that is highlighted in orange that's yours so you see it's right now it's making the variation of that rabbit and so what you want to do is if you want to start testing it out you put back uh, backslash imagine and then it's gonna pop up prompt. And then you can write whatever. Let's say um, a cute anime bunny in a beautiful forest with tons of flowers and clear blue shimmery crystal sky so the more descriptive you are the nicer the pictures will turn out oh this is spelled wrong right here oops so crystal sky um overlooking an ocean so let's just say that you can write like a whole paragraph like I'm just making it short just to show you and then it's going to now you're just waiting for the um, AI to make the picture that you described pretty much what mid journey is is a place where people can come in and get just write a bunch of prompts and then it shows up you know whatever you're writing so this was the variation of the rabbit that i saw earlier and if you click on u1 that means that you want to just take this photo u2 is that photo and so on forth v1 v2 v3 and v4 will change the variations of the photo v4 they just came out with a couple days ago so let's just say i want to do v4 on a the v1 then you just gotta wait Oh, here's my rabbit. It's done. Oh, almost done. It's at 81%. So it's getting there because I wanted an anime looking rabbit. So we'll go back to that. So right now, this is still working. Okay, so that one is at 41%. So See, look at my rabbit. Super cute and mean. There you go. Very cute. And then this is my bunny picture. Yeah, I don't quite like that. So I'm going to do V4. I'm going to change the variation to 4. And let's see how that looks like. So you can keep playing with the photo that you're trying to describe. Like you can keep going and then it keeps getting nicer and nicer as it keeps um, the AI is doing what it's doing see that rabbit's cute so that's what it is and then if you do backslash 
you can go into help and it'll tell you exactly how to use everything. And it has all these other things, ask a question, help, fast. Fast is just to make it faster, like to manipulate the image faster for the AI and so forth. So it's pretty cool. Like I was stuck on this, oops, I was stuck on this all day yesterday and it gives you I think five tries for free then you have to pay the subscription after and so when something's done it'll show up right here so there's my weird looking rabbit and then the variation here oh no that's not the variation so there's my rabbit this is the variation of that rabbit but I find that with Mid Journey, um, if you're doing portraits or faces, it doesn't come out as nice. But if you keep playing with the prompts, then it looks really nice. So then you're going to go back to midjourney.com, for example. I'm just going to sign in. And then it shows up. All the stuff that you've made will show up in here. And these are just the stuff that I was playing with and making random stuff. And then as you can see, it gets better over time if you sit there and you keep prompting it and, you know, changing the variations and stuff. And the more descriptive you are, the better your picture will be. So also, if in this uh, midjourney.com site, if you click on this button, the community feed, then you can go in and basically look at everybody's pictures in here. What's happening? Why is it not loading? Oh. Let me just change my Wi-Fi over because for some reason it's not loading. Uh-oh. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. So anyways, once you go into the community feed, you can see the stuff that other people created, like paper cut, like that looks so cool. And all here. And for example, if you like something in here and you want to make your own variation of it, then you can totally do that because at the moment, Mid Journey allows you to see other people's prompts. Prompts are basically what they wrote in their description so that it, the picture turns out like that. So you can totally see and if you like it you can literally make your own i'm just trying to find a picture of something that i want to recreate mm. let's okay let's go back to community and um okay let's just say i want to recreate this i would click these three dots right here Oh, it won't let me. Hold on. This whole thing just updated today. They keep updating because they're on the beta version. So every single day, they're, what is happening right now? Um, okay, sorry. Here you go. So let's... Let's say I like this photo. Oh, they changed it. So yesterday you were able to click these three dots and you're able to copy the entire prompt for it, but today you can't. So let's just copy it from here. Command C. And then I'm gonna go back into Discord and I'm gonna put imagine space and I'm going to paste what I just saw and I'm just gonna press enter and then it's gonna make the prompt for me and um, and honestly you can be on this thing like all day it's so much fun if you think leave me comments below on where you think you can sell this because this is like endless art that you can make and what you would do with your art because I really like to know let's see 
Okay. Oh, I'm not signed in. That's why I'm not able to copy it. Okay. Now I'm signed in. So let's say you go to community. Let's go to the newest thing that people have made. And let's say you just find an image that you like. The reason why I was not able to copy the prompt was because I wasn't signed in for some reason. My internet is just very wonky today. So let's say I want, what do I like? I like things that are magical and majestic looking and um, let's just say okay let's say I like this so I can no I don't really like that actually um, because so anything that you create goes into your collection so I want something that is super cute um, that's really cool, this one. Let's see. Oh, I like this. This is cute. It's very, um, so let's say I like this and I want to make a variation of this. So I'm going to copy the full command. Then I'm going back into Discord. Then I'm going to put slash imagine whoops oops okay oh what the heck is happening okay then i'm gonna paste that and i'm going to press enter and then it's gonna do it for me and while that's happening i have to go and find my other photo that i did so here is that flower punk room swimming pool looks nothing like that photo also doesn't look that great because it looks very uh, cheap but I think because I couldn't copy the rest of the command so that's why it turned out like that but I'm not going to make a variation of it or play with it or anything because I actually don't like that but I'm going to wait for the other one and also if you like someone else's picture I don't know if I mentioned that you can make variations of their photo that they just created too and so everything is saved into your mid journey in here. So if you go home, all your stuff that you made is saved to here. And let's say if I like this and I want to take it out, I could save my image and it's saved to my computer. And same thing with this one. And I also wanted to let you guys know the subscription for this. So once you have your five free trials, you can do the $10 a month USD. You get 200 images a month, which is actually like if you're really into, you know, digital art and design, that's not going to be enough because I've literally sat there and made so much within a day for fun. So I did the $30 membership and it gives you unlimited personal use, general commercial terms, access to member gallery so you have everything um, and you can see everything like 200 I think I mean it's good if you're just playing with it but what I think is a good idea too is if you made all these designs and you decided that you want to upload on Redbubble for example so these are the things that I did on Redbubble and let's just go into so this is the shop. I just, anything that I basically um, was playing with, I ended up uploading it into here to put on t-shirts and stuff like that. And so I thought it was pretty cool. I didn't make that much. But it, let's just say if you want to add something to Redbubble from your Discord that you've made, you totally can. And you just leave it there. And if someone buys the t-shirt that you created, there you go. That's money. So where's my picture? Oh, here you go. See, so it kind of looks like the one that they that person had, but it's so I'm going to click on U1 and I'm going to do V4 on that. I want a variation form. And so 
another thing I wanted to mention too is if you say like this photo and you want this as a single photo, they need to be a U2, sorry. This one is U3 and this one's U4 and this one's U1. See, so that's getting made. It's at 20%. So I thought this program was really, really cool. And honestly, like this just changes the whole aspect of art I feel like because you don't actually have to sit there and paint something or do digital art and take like hours into it you can literally just write a bunch of prompts and it shows up so I thought that was pretty cool I hope you enjoyed my video and I will see you in my next digital how-to don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you later bye friends